Man, it is late. Are you as tired as I am? <sighs> Veggies. Here's to you. Ah. We had a picnic. We have a yearly picnic. Although we seem to have picnics about once a quarter. I guess the other three quarters we find excuses to have picnics. This is the yearly picnic. And weather well, was held up. It was been cloudy all day. I don't know what it's like right now. Well, it's 82 degrees right now at 7.31 p.m. so late. I was going to try to mow the lawn today, but I may run out of time. I don't know. It's just going to get hotter, though. I think I'll try, even though it might be dark by the time I'm done. That's my decision. i got to do this then and get out of here because there's not much daylight left, I'm sure. Anyway, it's about, I don't know if it's five degrees too hot or we just needed the wind to be a couple miles an hour faster or just less swampy humid. But it was uncomfortable. But indoors it was good, and that's where the food was, so that was all right. There was a paper airplane contest. Although we are all engineers, and can't do paper airplanes, or the paper we were provided was the wrong size is more likely. It was one of those weird large sizes that wasn't very, uh, the ratio was off, you know? It was either too much this or too much of this, I guess depending which way you held it. I'm voguing. I didn't even realize it. Hey, it's Thursday. This week, again, feels like the longest week on Earth, but that could be because I haven't been doing a lot of work when I should have been. You know what? It's not 1.30, it's 1.31. Now, what are we going to do with these? What can you do with four segments? Uh, let's make a four. Why not? So now it says 4, 4B1, 481. I don't know. Just ignore those. 131 is what's important. This is number 131. Um, I'm scatterbrained. It's like too much for one man to handle. And yet, I'm kind of handling it. The problem is that we're getting more and more often we're finding stuff that like I forgot to do or stuff that I did halfway and then forgot to finish. And it's kind of like where I start talking about one thing, and then I get really excited about talking about some other thing, and then I forget how I started the sentence, so we never like come back full circle to close it up. That's kind of happening to me. Although most of it's because I'm not getting enough sleep, I'm sure. Not as opposed to... Lack of sleep is not helping. The amount of work and the kind of work is not helping. But I think I'm mostly caught up even though it took me way too late to do it today. But when you go to a picnic for a couple hours, you expect you're going to probably have uh, to stay a couple hours extra to make up for it, if you want to finish the work today, that is. I could have saved some of it for tomorrow, but I like to really be clear as, as clear as I can possibly be on Friday so that it can be more uh, me time, catching up on what I want to do rather than what I have to do. This is the most boring thing I've ever said to you. And I feel like I've said it before. Of course, one of the other things I was doing was not work. I finally did a WWE-themed tout to let them know how on board I am with their handling of tout. I joined tout the day uh, I learned it existed. And for me and for a lot of other people, that was the day that Shaq bought into it and left his first tout, which was his official uh, notice that he was retiring. And I signed up for it mostly to make sure that I could get the old initials before someone else did. So I didn't really use it. I thought about using it for yoga videos when Kick Video said I had used up my allotment there. And then I decided I really didn't want to do yogurt videos anymore. Also, I ran out of yogurt on Monday and haven't had any. So we can't have any contests of what I'll have tomorrow because there's no yogurt in the fridge. So if you guys know yogurt, you'll be correct. Unless I go to the store between now and then. But because I want to mow the lawn, I probably won't. What I ended up using Tout for, coming back to that, is Apple Fritter videos. And I got 
Actually, I got famous during that because Tout noticed that somebody was tagging videos Apple Fritter, and it was me. And I'd done it maybe a dozen times. What happens is on Thursdays we get pastries, and there's always one or two Apple Fritters in the box. And if there is one, usually I'm one of the last people to grab one, but if there's still one there, I will take it. Otherwise, I will have to get like a bar or a, something with almonds. Or there's a turn. There's usually an apple turnover. No one will eat the turnover. I don't know why we get it, but I guess you know when you get however many dozen we get, they kind of choose for you. But I love apple fritters. No matter how bad they are for me. I mean, it's fruit, right? It can't be that bad for you. It ends up looking like a like a brain, though, doesn't it? But uh, every Thursday. On the Thursdays when I have the apple fritters, I will do the apple fritter of the week. They all kind of look the same, but when you only have 15 seconds to work with, it's not that big of a deal. So, why did I even bring that up? Tout. So, for one of my first touts, not apple fritter related, I wanted to do a raw 1000 one. And the problem is that when you have 15 seconds, you find yourself with 16 seconds of content. So you either have to really tighten it up, or speak really quickly, never pause. So it took me four or five tries, but I got a result I was happy with, and one that looked less like I was reading what I had written down, and keeping that eye contact for most of it. Not that it's going to get used or anything, but... It's one of those deals where, you know, if not too many people are doing this tout thing and they're desperate for touts, maybe they'll pick mine. Especially since I accompanied it with a hilarious clip. And a clip I haven't seen in quite a while. It was uh, William Shatner. These people are tech war fans. Yay, we love tech war, Bill. So, the clip I chose was Shatner... Not really doing a monkey flip. It was more Jerry Lawler leading him into doing the monkey flip. But still, for Shatner, pretty physical, kind of impressive. Looks good if you only see it once. And that was the clip that I accompanied, because I had a clip to accompany my thing. Does it make it more likely? Probably not. But they may squeeze it in there. I don't know. We'll see. Because you know how telegenic I am and how I represent the WWE Universe because I'm a, a big, fat, white, 41-year-old guy. That's who they want to be playing to in 2012. But there are a lot of clips about that I hadn't seen in a while, and amazingly, they're all on YouTube, thus continuing to render the recap or obsolete when you can just watch the damn show yourself and arrive at your own conclusions. That's why recappers are useless in 2012, by the way. Although, don't tell that to any of the people recapping shows that aren't wrestling. The newsroom. But one of the clips I posted to the W, if you happen to be into that and into wrestling, was Vince's manifesto shortly after the Montreal Screwjob, where he had a speech, and it sounded all well and good, but it just had an undercurrent of, you are such a slimy dude. And we didn't know it at the time, but it only took three or four short months before old kindly president of the WWE events, or whatever his title was, in storyline terms, it was always kind of nebulous, right? But it, you got the impression that he was he he ran the whole show into the devious, diabolical, awesome. In 1998, he, he was awesome as Mr. McMahon, and. Uh, I just realized that I didn't get a Taco Bell bong at 7.38. I must have it timed because I would have thought I would not be here by then. Distracted again. Check out that manifesto, though. I've, I posted in the uh, raw moments thread that someone else started, and even though it's a list thread, it only comes along once every 1,000 weeks, so let's go ahead and let that go. But take a look at the thing. I think if you've never seen it before, it'll be really interesting to you, maybe. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. One more day this week, and uh, this week will be over. Thank goodness. So I'll see you in about 24 hours. Thank you for watching uh, today. Uh, Kevin on Google+, Plus, who did tell me his W username, you'll have to go there to figure it out, said, uh, hi, Chris. So, hi, Kevin. 
And if anyone else has said anything and I've missed it, I'll pick it up tomorrow, but I don't, don't think you have. Prove me wrong. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.